Dodgers begin their first four-game series versus the Giants. Ken Tomayeda closes out the Padres in a historic fashion and much more. Coming up on Dodgers Nation Report, brought to you by CollectionProducts.com. Hey guys, for DodgersNation.com, I'm Elisa Hernandez. The Dodgers opened up the 2016 season in a historic way. They not only swept the Padres, but made their NL West rival make history in the worst way. The Padres became the first team in MLB history to be shut out in the first three games of the season. This coming on the same day Dodgers pitcher Kenta Maeda made his debut and had a heck of a career day. After the Dodgers win, Kike Hernandez posted this picture on Instagram with the caption, first career start, check. First career strikeout, check. First career win, check. First career hit, check. And first career homer, check. Kenta Maeda, ladies and gentlemen, take a bow. Well, what a start. During his eight seasons in Japan, Maeda hit only two home runs in his career. In only his second at bat in the major leagues, he hits a home run. So. While all things were great in San Diego, that wasn't the case in San Francisco. The Dodgers began the first of a four-game series versus the Giants and fell 6-12 in Game 1, but lucky for the boys in blue, they can redeem themselves. They face the Giants for the next three days, have an off day on Monday before hosting Zach Greinke and the Diamondbacks on Tuesday for their home opener. And speaking of the Dodgers' home opener, we asked you guys on Twitter, who are you most looking forward to seeing? And it wasn't even close. 53% of you guys voted for Vince Scully. Corey Seager came in second with 32% of the vote, but Michael Bragg's five tweets, knowing it's his last season, the only answer is Vin. Everyone else will be there next year. Well, we hope so. And for everyone going to the game, please tweet us your photos and videos using the hashtag DodgersNation. And to make things easy for you guys, we even made our top five list of top five giveaways and theme games of the season. So you can check those out. The links are below and you can also click the top icon above me. And we'll be having another giveaway this Friday. So make sure you check back with us on Dodgers Nation TV to see how to win. Now, before I go, I have to give a special shout out to Patty Olson, AKA Blue LA fan on Twitter. Her father, Arnulfo Rodriguez, passed away this year and was a huge Dodgers fan and USC fan, fight on. He was 87 years old. He served in the US Army and his daughter shared these pictures of his Dodgers theme memorial service. He was such a diehard Dodgers fan, they served Dodger Dogs, Nachos, and Cracker Jack at the service. So to the Rodriguez family, from everyone here at Dodgers Nation, we're so sorry for your loss, but thank you so much for sharing his story with us. Well, that'll do it for me. Thank you to our sponsors at CollectSuperProducts.com for sponsoring Dodgers Nation Report. You can follow them at Collect Super, us at Dodgers Nation, and me at E. Hernandez TV. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Comment below and let us know what you think of the boys in blue so far. And for all these stories and much more, you know what to do. Visit DodgersNation.com.